Hello and welcome back to Easy English with James. Today we're going to look at diphthongs. Diphthongs. What are they? How do they work? And why are they so important if you want to sound more natural when you speak English? If you want to know the answer, watch the rest of this lesson. Okay, let's go. Okay, a diphthong. What is it? In English, vowel sounds can be divided into monophthongs, that's single vowel sounds like a, e, i, o, and a. If you want to learn them, check out my video here that I made previously to help you master those sounds. Okay? Monophthongs, single sounds, diphthongs, they are double sounds, double vowels, okay? Imagine taking two vowels, like e and a, uh, and combining them together. What do you get? You get a diphthong, okay? Where one sound moves into the other sound, okay? What this means is that when you're saying a word with a diphthong, you're actually only pronouncing one syllable. For example, in the word ear, Ear, that is a one syllable, a monosyllabic word, okay? But it contains a diphthong where there are an e uh, okay? Ear. It's not two separate vowels, it's one vowel sound. It's not e uh, it's ear, ear. And the mouth moves from the first vowel position, e, to the second vowel position, uh, naturally, like so. Ear, ear, okay? Diphthong comes from the Greek word diphthongos, which literally means two sounds. Two sounds combined together to make one English vowel sound, okay? In the word boy, we have two different vowel letters, O and I, but we combine it into one sound, one diphthong, oi. Oi, oi, okay, same with toy and many others. Okay, so our first diphthong sound is the sound ear, 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 okay? You'll find this in words like beer, beer, or near, near, or even here, here, perhaps fear. Fear. Listen closely. Fear. Fear. Hear. Peer. Near. Okay? It glides from one vowel into the other. Ear. 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 Okay? Peer. Fear. Near. Hear. If you want to master this vowel sound, this diphthong, try this. I fear the beer hall is not near here. I fear the beer hall is not near here. Lots of that sound in this sentence. I fear the beer hall is not near here. Now listen at full speed. I fear the beer hall is not near here. How natural does that sound? I fear the beer hall is not near here. Okay? Practice, practice, practice. Fear, here, near. Our next sound is uh, uh. This is not very common, okay? It's quite rare. It's only really heard in very posh RP accents, like the one the Queen has when she speaks, okay? You'll find this uh in words like tur or poor. Okay? Again, I think that most English speakers don't use this very often. And in fact, normally they substitute, that means they change this sound to a simple or, a long vowel sound, tor and poor. Okay? But people who speak RP, received pronunciation, often use this, tur, poor, and it's an ur, ur. So if you want to sound really posh, try that. Tour, poor. For an example sentence of this one, try this. 
I didn't do the tour because I was too poor. I, I didn't do the tour because I was too poor. Okay, just remember that when you use that, you do sound a little bit posh. Okay, well done. The next one is a really common sound. Air, air, air. Now, already you probably guessed this is found in words like air, that thing that's all around us, air. But you'll also see this in words like pair, fair, hair. There, over there, or over there, okay? Air. It starts off with an air, and it goes into an uh, air, air, okay? Air, fair, hair. You'll also hear this in where, where, okay? Where, where, and there. Where, there. Try again. Air, air. Notice that the mouth starts quite open. Air and closes. Air, air. For an example sentence with this one, try this. The bear was in his lair, and the girl's hair was very fair. Fair means light, like blonde hair, okay? The bear was in his lair. Lair is like a place where they live. A monster lives, is a lair. The bear was in his lair, and the girl's hair was very fair. Fair again means light, so you can say someone has fair skin. She has fair skin. Okay? Fair. Lair. The bear was in his lair, and the girl's hair was very fair. Okay? Practice that one over and over again, because it's really common. The next one is the A. A. This one is probably the most common diphthong in the English language. It's found all over the places in lots of different words. A, A, A. Okay, you'll know this from the letter, okay? When you're reading the alphabet, A, B, C, the letter actually has this diphthong as its sound. A, A, okay? You'll find this in words like day, say, pay, lay, stay. Okay, lots and lots of different words, okay? Anytime you hear the sound A, even when somebody says, hey, hey, that's how common this sound is, A. Watch closely though, A, A, A. It's not A like that, it goes A, A, A. It's a rounded sound, it kind of goes A, okay? Stay. Pay, lay, bay. Okay, all of these sounds include that difficult diphthong a, a. For an example sentence with this one, try this. That day I didn't pay to stay in the bay. That day I didn't pay to stay in the bay. That day I didn't pay to stay in the bay. A, 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 okay? A, A. The next sound is the oi, oi. This one has a lot of movement. There's a lot of movement in the jaw and the mouth. Oi, oi, oi. You'll find this in words like boy or toy or koi or soy or even the common Oi! Okay, when you're shouting at someone, oi, that's the sound you're making. Oi, oi, that's the diphthong. Oi, boy, toy, oi, soy, koi. Watch closely. Oi, oi, and try to copy my mouth movement exactly as you practice. Oi, oi, oi. For an example sentence with this one, try this. Oi, boy, pass me the toy. Don't be so coy. Oi, boy, pass me the toy. Don't be so coy. Oi, boy, pass me the toy. Don't be so coy. Oi, boy, pass me the toy. Don't be so coy. The next one is also quite common. It is I. I. 
you'll notice that in a lot of these diphthong sounds, the mouth closes at the end. It starts open and then begins to close. In oi, I, oi, I, okay? This one, I, you'll find in words like sky. Or the question word, why, why, sky, hi, my. Okay, you'll find this in lots and lots of different words in English. I. Watch closely. I. 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 Again, starts open. I. I. For an example sentence of this, try this. The sky blue tie was hard to buy. The sky blue tie was hard to buy. The sky blue tie was hard to buy. Now, you'll also hear this a lot when someone's really angry, maybe in a movie, or when somebody's playing an online game and they want to kill the enemy because they'll say, die, 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 die. Die is that sound, I, die, okay? Die, die, die. So if you wanna practice this one, don't go around shouting at everybody saying, die, 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 okay? But it's a good way to practice, I, I, okay? The next sound is the O, 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 O. Just like A, this one is represented by its letter in the alphabet. When you say the letter or you're reading the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, and you get to this letter, you say O, O. The diphthong is the sound that represents this letter. O, O, O no, O no, O no, snow, O no, it's snowing, O no, it's snowing. Watch closely, because this one's a bit tricky. You have to really position your jaw. O, O, O. Kind of feels like you're going like this. O, O. Oh no, there's some snow. You'll find this really often in English in words like boat or coat, or of course, no, show, even in words that are really common like go, I go, oh. So this one is super important to master. Oh, no, snow, I go, boat and coat. Try this example sentence. The boat was a no-show, so we couldn't go unless we had to row. The boat was a no-show, so we couldn't go unless we had to row. Row the boat, okay? The popular nursery rhyme also, row, row, row the boat, gently down the stream, has this sound. Row, go, boat, coat, okay? Practice that one a lot. The final sound for today is my favorite. It is ow, ow. You'll know this from when someone hurts you and you go ow, ow, okay, ow, ow. You'll find this in words like mouth or now, or even when an animal makes a sound, we say growl, foul, foul, now, how, okay. Ow, ow, ow. Watch closely. Ow, ow, ow. Now. The time is now, okay? The time is now for you to learn excellent English pronunciation. So make sure, if you're enjoying this video, to hit that like and subscribe button so you can see all of my future videos, okay? Let's try an example sentence with this one. The owl flew south, so my mouth let out a growl. The owl flew south, so my mouth let out a growl. The owl flew south, so my mouth let out a growl. How, growl, foul, mouth, okay? Owl, 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 owl. Okay, well done. That's all the diphthong sounds. Now what we're gonna do is have a little test. Okay, 
What is the diphthong sound in this word? Loud. Loud. Which diphthong is that? Loud. Loud. You'd be correct if you said the owl. Owl sound. Well done. What diphthong sound is in the word pain? Pain. You might hear a really common expression in English, no pain, no gain, which means without difficulty, you can't get anything good. No pain, no gain. What diphthong sound is in that sentence? Ain, pain, gain. You will be correct if you say a, a, that one that looks like the letter a, pay, pain, pain. Okay. What is the diphthong sound in the word light, 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 okay? You will be correct again if you say the I, lie, light, light, light. What is the diphthong sound in the word fear, fear, fear? You will be correct if you say ear, 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 the ear sound. What is the diphthong sound in the word where, where, or fair? What sound can you hear? You would be correct if you said the air, air, air sound. Okay, now let's try something much harder, okay? In the next sentence, you're going to hear a couple of words, and within them words, there are five diphthongs, five diphthongs. Can you guess which diphthongs are in that word? Okay, pause the video and practice and then see if you can guess the right diphthongs, okay? Listen closely. No highway cowboy. No highway cowboy. No highway cowboy. Okay, think about that. No high way cowboy. No highway cowboy. What are the five diphthong sounds in that sentence? Okay. You would be correct if you said these ones. You've got the O in no. You've got the I in high. You've got the A in way, no highway. And then you've got two more, cow, the owl sound, and boy. Remember this. The mouth moves a lot to make diphthong sounds. So when you see me say, no highway cowboy, you can see the mouth is kind of crazy, okay? They're not common sentences, but no highway cowboy. No highway cowboy, okay? It's a really good sentence for practicing five of those diphthong sounds. So practice that one as much as you can. No highway cowboy. No highway cowboy, okay? Thank you very, very much for joining me today in this lesson. If you watch it again and again, I promise you, your pronunciation will become more natural and improve so much, okay? Remember, if you like this video, to hit that like button and subscribe so that you can see all of my future videos. Good luck, and I'll see you again for the next video. Bye-bye.